So uh, a number of weeks ago, about four weeks ago, Karen Bradley announced a package of measures were which we at that time had said were more about her avoiding her responsibility to call an election and more about filling space. And today, after our delegation has met with Karen Bradley, we are no more assured of that of anything other than that. Um, she didn't bring forward any plans, any proposals, any effort whatsoever in order to put the bones on what a potential process would look like that could lead to the restoration of the institutions. We're very clear, crystal clear, why that is so. It is because they are prioritising their own survival over the efforts to try and get the institutions back up and running again. So today was a bit of Groundhog Day. Um, we didn't hear anything new from Karen Bradley that would give us any kind of hope that the, her government has any interest in prioritising the needs of people here and these institutions over their own survival. I think that uh, the longer Karen Bradley and her government facilitates the political impasse, then what is the incentive for the DUP, who we know are the problem at the heart of the current uh, impasse? What's the what is the, the impetus for them to want to bring the institutions back together? So I think that whilst her legislation in regards to decision making, uh, we understand the need for decision making. However, it has to be under strict guidance and it has to be under um, limited circumstances. So we, we put our position to her in relation to that. In terms of avoiding an election, I think that she is undermining the Good Friday Agreement and undermining the democratic process. And I don't think that that is a position that, or it isn't a position that Sinn Féin will ever support. Uh, myself and the other parties, the SDLP, the Alliance Party and the Green Party travelled to Brussels last week. Uh, next week, we've, or in the coming weeks, we've also asked for a meeting with both the Taoiseach and also with the British Prime Minister, Theresa May because we need to make sure that our voices are heard and we collectively share the, the, the fact that we want to protect the Good Friday Agreement in all of its parts. We collectively are opposed to Brexit, so I think that we need to take every opportunity we have to have our voice heard because, after all, we do represent the majority of the people here. Sinn Féin, Gawananis, Carta Agus Ian Tosnaharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.